Hey guys, welcome to Skill Up Academy. In today's training session, I'm gonna show you my best tips on how to use the medium editor like a pro. Are you guys ready? Switch that view. All right, so what we're gonna learn here is how to do all of these things without actually using uh, your mouse. So when you start on a new page, it starts pretty much blank and you get the title to start with here so you get title and normally it would show like this so you don't have to do anything like that and so if you want to add a subtitle here what you can do is once you typed it you can do on Mac option command 2 and on PC you do alt uh, control alt 2 you can also add a kicker on top of the title so if we do kicker here you can do option command two again on uh, Mac and then control alt two on PC. Now you've got a block of kicker, title, and subtitle here. For a quote like this one, so let's do this again, start from scratch. And this is a quote by Danny. All right. So if you want to turn this into a formatted quote, you would do command option five or control alt five on PC. But let's say you want to do a super quote like the one below. So let's do this one again. This is a super quote by Danny. So it's similar to what we just did. So option command five twice or control, control alt on PC. Everything good so far? Bullet list, there's nothing easier. Start with a dash and space and you can start populating your list. A number list is also easy. So you just start with uh, the number. So number one, space, something, enter, and we'll just continue adding until you don't put any text. All right, this one is on, uh, it's pretty much all over your operating system, whether it's Mac or Windows, but if you wanna do this, you can select the text and do Command I on Mac or Control I on PC. For bold, it's Command B or Control B on PC. Headings are fairly easy, so if you want to write, uh, let me unformat this. So if you have a something you want to make a heading, you do Command Alt, uh, Command Option One on Mac and Control Alt One on PC. For Heading Two, it's Command Option Two or Control Alt Two on PC. And anytime you want to add a link, this is a link. So let's say you want this to be a link. You can do Command K on Mac, or you can do Control K on PC. For those of you who don't know how to mention people like, like I did here, um, it's fairly easy. So you basically just do the at sign and it will show you a list of people. So, um, so if, if the person is not showing on the list, let's say I'm gonna go with uh, Nick Wignall. There you go. It's that simple. Uh, if you want more help on the shortcuts, you can always do command question mark or control question mark on PC. I will show you basically everything that I'm just telling you right here. You can always refer back to that. You want to add a note on the sidebar to, let's say you've got something that you're working on or you just want to come back to. Uh, you can put a TK here. So whenever in your text you add TK, no matter where it is, it will detect it in your sidebar. So it's a sign for you to uh, just go back there. So when I write an article and I've got tons of ideas for the future, I typically just uh, go and put some TKs um, further down. If you want to create a separator like that, uh, here's a cool shortcut for you. That's Command Enter, 
or control enter on PC. Instead of having to go here, 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 you've got the much faster option of doing it like this. You want to do inline code like this one. So let's, let's do it from scratch. This is in inline code. You can select the text and do the uh, back tick symbol. That's the one on, on Mac, at least it's next to uh, the one key. Uh, so it will depend on your keyboard, but it's, it's the back tick one. And that's, that's the one I'm talking about here. If you want to create a code block like just below, you do three of those. There we go. This is a code block. But let's say you want to turn something into a block co code, uh, code block, sorry. Uh, so let's say uh, you want to turn this into a code block. You would select it. Actually, you don't even need to select. You can do option command six. There you go. It will create a code block for you. You can remove it the same way. On PC, that would be uh, control alt six. And guys, this is how you use Medium Editor like a pro. It may seem like you're not gaining much time by doing that, but you really are. If you write big pieces, put line breaks frequently, headings, you format things for, for code blocks, uh, you, you put stuff in bold, italic, uh, you put quotes and all of that. The micro gains that you have from writing these articles with all these shortcuts it's great. It's absolutely great. I can write in, in an hour. I can write so much more because I don't have to worry about going into the menus and uh, changing all the formatting. So start using them. Try to memorize them. And I showed you the tips on the Medium Editor, but you should learn these shortcuts in any of the software that you use. Uh, it saves you so much time. If, you, if there's a software you use regularly, uh, either on a daily basis or a few times a week, it's always worth it to learn the shortcuts to make everything better on Photoshop, Lightroom, absolutely critical. So uh, I hope you learned something today and uh, I'll see you in the next training session. All right, see you.